So when I was five years old and I just started school and I was petrified and I really didn't want to go. I used to grab hold of my mum's coat and pull off buttons. That's how scared I was. My mum handed me to this like dinner lady and he said, it's fine, we'll calm her down. And she wrote on a post-it a little tiny, it's like a little mouse called Tico. And she said that no matter what, you will never be alone if you've got a little Tico in your pocket. And to this day, I still have it in my purse. That's a lovely, so, yeah. that's a lovely story. <laughs> that kind of inspired me thinking that, well, sketching like you can literally draw yourself anything to make you feel better. You can draw yourself a friend. <laughs> literally, yes. <laughs> you can draw yourself a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kate Shaw and I am behind Short Sketches. Short Sketches is um, my business where I create ink drawings of my majority of pets, um, but a lot of the animals in the new forest and things that inspire me around where I live. I'm based in the south of England. I use um, ink pens and artist pens um, just on paper and I do a lot of uh, real life still life work and also continuous line drawings. A lot of it is the new forest animals. Lovely new forest ponies and there's sheep and ducks and so many lovely birds. I just find that I really want to make people aware of the beautiful environment and especially the forest that we've got around here. I love drawing cats because they're different, like their facial expressions and proportions and their markings are just fun fascinating. I've got a boy called Colin and a girl called Molly who I've had since they were nine weeks old and they're literally like my children pretty much own the house, so. <laughs> Big cat. Big cat. Yeah, he's great when I'm doing a commission. Oh. Anyone around the globe really can message my a Facebook page and ask for a commission. I've recently done um, some French deer for a gentleman in France. So yeah, it makes quite good little gifts. Paul Colin, he loves his food and he will come up to you and jump on you and knead your face. Whereas Molly's a bit more reserved and we kind of call her the ballerina because you can't hear her. And she is so tiny and petite and you feel honoured when she comes up to you to say hello. 